Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. It's me, Tony. I go by Rainbowdude on the internet. Um, and we are back at uh, what I hope is the last episode. Um, we have our unique sword, our unique shield and armor, extra spirit damage, some good boots. Um, and I did not do a whole lot of rune stuff, um, after the fact. Um, I did make sure people had enough runes for the equipment. Um, as far as our party's gonna go, I think we're gonna take Valana and Sigrun and Nathaniel with us. And the reason being is that I know ahead of time that Anders and Justice survive if you leave them behind. Nathaniel makes an appearance in Dragon Age 2, but only if you do certain things, <coughs> otherwise the game flags him as dead. And having him in your party is one of the things that guarantees that he actually shows up. So, uh, with all that being said, we're gonna initiate our last conversation. I'm here to serve, our Commander. Nobles. Uh, don't need that. Commander. Uh, you're pretty much... There are full Darkspawn armies in the field, Commander. Just like the Blight, maybe worse. Before our soldiers were called back to the Vigil, they brought what civilians they could find to safety. I fear the Darkspawn may strike the Vigil, or even the city of Amaranthine herself. Hmm. The assembled lords and ladies of the Arling await your word. Well, Commander, we many of the lords have gathered. The Darkspawn have fielded armies, and the nobles want to know how you will protect them. Shall I assemble them, or do you need more time to strategize? Assemble the men, we're going to war. I will send messengers at once. We've waited enough. Those who are late will just have to be filled in. Lord Edelbrecht, this is the commander of the Greys Council, not yours. I am fearful for the villagers on the plains. There's a darkspawn army, army in the field, and with the soldiers returning to the vigil, the enemy is out of hiding. We must find them and strike. Uh, I'll say we can't give in to despair. I'm going to be like a, a hopeful leader. This is no... Commander! Commander! What is it, girl? A darkspawn army is within sight of Amaranthine. Make her protect us. They're attacking the city? Amaranthine has been undermanned for weeks. She may not last long. Our forces cannot move quickly enough. But a small band might make it in time. But that's... suicide. We must try. Then I will rally the city's defenders. If anyone can turn the Darkspawn tide, it would be you, Commander. Fighting a horde of Darkspawn with almost certain death awaiting? Don't even think of leaving me here, Captain. Who do you want to take with you, Commander? I won't deny Sigrun's request. She's with me. I'm already dead. I have nothing to lose. Who else will you bring? Nathaniel, this is a chance to redeem your family. Initially, I thought you were utterly mad to invite me to join your order. But redemption? A man could die for that and feel good about it. Who else will you bring? Uh, Valana, this is your chance to avenge your people. We will cut down all Darkspawn before us and I will learn what they have done with my sister. And so it is decided. I'll make sure the Vigil's ale supply is safe. <laughs> Leave a few Darkspawn skulls for me to kick in, right? If I ever had doubts of you, they are erased. Fight nobly, and if you die, die with honor. Oh, I miss out on the suicide mission. Oh, life can be so unfair. <laughs> but, uh... Good luck. You have your own mission up and all that? in defending the king. The rest of us will stay here. Make her protect you and hold you close, Commander. Cannot possibly go wrong. Oh no. It's the 
fully grown shoulder grub. I'm circling it, but you can't see my mouse. Dark spawn. Oh, I leveled up. Oh, but I can't level up now. Dang it. Um, okay. Let's lock Kill them all! And I want to save that. <laughs> Please, Grey Warden, save my family. My family's in the city. Please calm yourselves while I speak to the Warden Commander. Warden Commander, I am glad you arrived when you did, but I fear there is little that can be done now. It can't be over so quickly. I... I fear it might be. A couple of nights ago, a swarm of... Of gruesome creatures Couple emerged from beneath ago. the city. Why are we just now they spread about this? pestilence and destroyed everything they touched. Then at dawn, the other Darkspawn attacked. Warden Commander, it's too late. Amaranthine is lost. Snap out of it, man. People still live. The buildings might remain, but there will be few survivors so long after those creatures appeared. Their corruption is so virulent. At least a quarter of the city succumbed within the first day. Constable, there is a Darkspawn approaching, alone. Archers, take him down! Peace, do not be killing, only talk. Architect has a message for Grey Warden. What message? The Mother's army, it marches to Vigil's Keep. She attacks now. The Architect, he sends me to warn you. You must save the Keep. Then finish the mother in her lair. Why were you sent to warn us? The architect wishes to have the Grey Warden's trust. He does not wish to see the mother succeed. If we leave now, we may be able to make it back to the vigil in time to save it. And what about the Darkspawn here? Soon, they will go to Vigil's keep as well. The mother, she wants the keep destroyed utterly. <sighs> Darkspawn has a point. We cannot leave with this other army hot on our heels. The constable says the city is lost. I say we destroy it, oh burn it, and no, all the dude. Darkspawn within. I'm not giving up on Amaranthine. Warden Commander, we have already lost Amaranthine. We can't lose the Vigil as well. I have faith in the fortress I've built. Commander, we can't save Amaranthine if it's already lost. We can still save the Vigil. I stand with the Commander. We must try to save Amaranthine. That's what Grey Wardens do. We protect people. I don't want to see fire ravage these streets, but it may be our only chance. What if there was a chance we could save someone? Anyone at all? It would take a miracle. I will follow your lead, Commander. We cannot afford to lose the Vigil and the Grey Wardens. And what humans are left here are lost anyway. Do you really want more innocent blood on your hands? I... No. I understand. Let us pray that the Keep can stand on its own. No, no. If you stay, the Mother will get what she wants. Tie this thing up. It has information we need. Amaranthine, then. <sighs> the Darkspawn are never disorganized on their own. Something must be leading them. If we eliminate the Darkspawn leadership, we can go about finding survivors. Good luck to you. And make her watch over us all. Alright. <clears throat> Here we are. Trying to save Amaranthine. Do they have anything important for loot? Not really.
No end to these blasted things. Oh shit. That dude just got deleted. <laughs> Dark spawn. Kill them all. This one's mine. Fireball. Yes, please. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Dark Sustenance because I just don't use it. <laughs> nice. Good job, you guys. Like the maker. No end to these bl blasted things. I gave the story like something. Dark spawn and put like fire damage. Try to get them out of combat. So maybe the bug won't happen. Um, now what though? Oh, city guard commander. There you are. Warden commander, we've received word of another wave of dark spawn approaching the city. They will be here within a day. 
What do you suggest? Most of the survivors are taking refuge in the Chantry. The militia has set up a base of operations there. You can rest and resupply there. In the meantime, my men and I will search for more survivors. I really, really like this DLC. I think it's really well done. Warden Commander, come quickly. The Darkspawn is still breaking through. Breaking through where? The inn. They're coming from the inn somehow. Oh, they must have taken rooms there. I'm heading to the inn. Make up bless you, Warden Commander. Oh, I think I can help with that. I'll get on it. Need it. Your wish is my command. Nothing in there. Why is there one comrade? I can't I believe all this is happening. I thought the blight was over. I don't really need injury kits because I'm the best. Blastrick the weaponsmith. What are you doing here? How do I get those books? Ah, I see. Uh, let's see here. Anything I don't absolutely positively need. Uh, I'll take these. Mostly concerned with delirium potions, honestly. Herlock sniper there, some regular dudes. Get off my back. You are 
better than later. All right, here we go into the inn. No end to these black. Uh, disciple general, some genlocks, and a grub. Can I get through a ladder? So you can get off my back? I'll get on. Daniel's animal thing up. Um, yeah, let's keep pumping your, your doodad. Um, yeah, keep leveling up yourself. Great bear. Now, what did that disciple general have on him? Enduring faith plus 15 defense. Pretty cool. Do you ever get the feeling here. you're being watched? Yeah, let's give you Enduring Faith. Mm -hmm. Ah, so they're coming from the smugglers. a ladder so you can get off my back Columbus broomstick <laughs> what was something like a broomstick but Clement the same door to the wild but it's used little use for normal broom anyway whether she actually owned this staff is unclear that's hilarious do I think that plus 10% to any damage is better than 20% spirit That went well, thankfully. Serving. Nothing important. All right. Twisted um, creep. On. Just a bunch of grunts. Features. Never is a good day to die. Let's see what you're made of. I'm done with you. I'm glad you guys can't really see this little blemish that I have. Although the camera's not really facing it. Oi, come back here, you. Oh, Armored Ogre Alpha. 
resisted. He's resisting all my shit. I'll get on it. Weapon's on. Can I get you a ladder? So you can get off my back? I'll get on it. Can you stop? What is the cooldown on? Oh my god. guy who wanted us to save his family. Commander, the Darkspawn are retreating. And the survivors. They are being tended to. By the Maker's mercy, only a few were infected by the Darkspawn. The Architect's messenger has given us directions to the Mother's lair. We must pursue her. And what about the Architect? The messenger said the architect also planned to kill the mother. I do not know what to make of that. I will set out soon. Uh, both are monsters, both must die. Commander, what should we do with the messenger? Execute it. It shall be as you say. I'm a great warden. Make a watch over Dark you, Commander. And knowing what I know from the book The Calling, the Post of Winter, Licking it would be unwise. That's funny. Um, the architect needs to die. And I would hope that the wardens would have put the results of the Book of the Calling in reports to the warden commander. So I'm operating under the assumption the that my story of your bravery will never be forgotten about what happened in the calling. All this stuff. I already got the pure iron from the Seeker's Chain. Talent of the Skies. Oh, that is a. Oh, shoot. Tooth of the Mountain Father. I don't know. If, I think we left that in the box. Buy these arrows. Why not? Uh, yeah. I didn't give it to you, did I? Dang. Yeah, there's no chance for us to go and uh, get our box. That's unfortunate. Surely. Because that would have been a good set. The Maker himself sent you, Commander. You're very welcome. No 
anyone else to talk to, I don't think. That's highly upsetting. Bonus of stamina regen. We have that other dagger, too. I wish they would have put the box there. Like, I know it wouldn't have made sense, but that would have been helpful. Alright, Lair of the Mother. Here we go. Dragonbone Waste. That part of Ozama. Dust no end to these plastic things. Is it I have no idea what have you heard. Can I get it off my back? Oh, no, no. I'm so It's good to have more mana. I'll take Inferno, sure. Um, where can I put it? Boop. And Nathaniel. You've already got all of your specialty stuff. Oh, what is it? Uh, Archer. Target. Enemy health. Less than 50%. Usability, Heartseeker, boom, save. Now is better than later. So we'll revisit this location in which uh, it may not be this exact location. The, they do reuse the asset, but it's a nice looking area that I'm glad to have. That's right, come on! <laughs> You're gonna regret this! I think three of us are currently getting overwhelmed. I'll get on it. Walker. Mage of the Antivan Circle who liked to travel the fate of the hobby once forgot to inform the Templars that she would be absent from her body for three whole days. They mistakenly buried her alive. Another mage claimed her shoes. 15 defense, 5 willpower, and something else. 15% spirit resistance. Currently our current boots are better because of the constitution buff. <laughs> Childers, Childers, uh, let's destroy you. There's another emissary. Can I get to the ladder so you can get off my back? Mana clash again. I'll get on. Desk. 
Uh, legends speak of a place where dragons go to die. The far south in the lands of the barbarian tribes, it is said that a dragon at the end of her days lies down and allows the bitter cold to take her. It is not just a legend. I have seen drakes fall with my own eyes. Ancient bones of these grand beasts piled atop one another. I felt the power that would suff that suffused this place and knew the Imperium would claim it. We built a city on the bones. We delved deep into the earth, collecting what remained of the primordial dragons who were so like our old gods. With these bones, we created staves for our magisters, armor for our warriors, and crowns for our archons. We fashioned phylacteries to hold our blood and sarcophagi to hold our bodies, and prayed they would make us immortal. From the writings of Archon Melos. Or Melos. One of the two. gonna send him do not wanna be what is my time here. ready raging in there right now. The only thing I'm missing is Earthquake. Actually, Valana, you have Earthquake. Guide my arm. That went well, thankfully. Yes? We just have a full arcane storm happening. That doesn't really need I didn't realize there was going to be a dragon there. I would have held off on some of that. <laughs> Get on. Got it. Get on. Lightning dragon. This will be fun. Yeah, Do we have any dragon slaying stuff, my guy? You know what? If any time was the time to use those elf flight arrows, now it is the time. What is your all right, all right. Ooh, Galana. I need you to get back. Yes. Gives me more backstab damage off you, though. I'm willing to swap that out for more cunning. Ooh, but that lowers your available stamina by a good bit. Hmm. And Nathaniel, you're wearing a full set of the trickster stuff. Okay. Alrighty, inside we go. Gonna save.
I'm glad to see that you are well, sister. Oh, Sereni. Oh, thank Mythal you're still alive. What has the Architect done to you? Why are you with him? The Architect is kind to me, and tender, and he has told me his plan. The Darkspawn are just like us. Mm. The Architect has freed them, and they search for a place in this world, just like the Dalish are searching. Everything he's done, he's done to help his people. You can respect that, can't you, sister? No. Velana, tell me you don't buy this. Sorani, they killed our friends and so many others. Don't you remember? I do. And this is why I must help them. They are like children come into the world with no understanding of what is good and fair. They have a bestial nature, but I've seen them overcome it. They just need to be shown how. I can't believe I wanted to help you. The Architect is waiting for me. And for you. He will explain everything. You will see, as I have seen. No! Don't go! Valana, you have to know that's some crazy shit. I'm here. Ready. Uh, crystal... Crystals for something in this dungeon. I don't remember what. I think it's for part of that puzzle with all the sockets down there. Flesh pod. Oh no. Can I get you a ladder? So you can get off my back? That's not good. Get on it. Another crystal. Ugh, flesh pods. Curses me out. There's another crystal. Now is better than later. Will of the unyielding. Plus three willpower, plus physical resistance, engraved with verse of the chant that is illegible now. You've got four crystals. I'll get on it. That's some big crystals for me to be just carrying around. I don't know what that means. I don't know what I did.
I'll teach you. Oh, I see. There's more sockets. We gotta get more crystals. Some dead childer grubs or adults there. And so we meet again. No, Uther. That is not how this must begin. I owe you an apology, Commander. When last we met, I intended to explain... myself. Fate, however, intervened. You experimented on me. I restrained you, only to prevent the misunderstanding... that occurred with the rest of your order. Misunderstanding? Did you not attack the Grey Wardens? I sent the Withered to ask for the Grey Wardens help. I should have anticipated that you might view our approach as an attack. I am rarely able to judge how your kind will react. It was most unfortunate. You took those men and bled them dry. The Grey Wardens that were brought to me were already dead. No. I took their blood no, just as I took yours. Because I had little choice. Things have not gone as I planned. I only ask that you hear me out. Should you still wish to slay me afterwards, you may try. I'll hear him out, but I'm My not going to My kind down. has ever been driven to seek out the old gods. This is our nature. When we find one, a blight has begun. Each time we attack your surface lands and you fight back until we are defeated. To break the cycle, my brethren must be freed of their compulsion. For that, I need Grey Warden blood. The only thing that's special about Grey Warden blood is we have the taint of the Archdemon in us. So if you just want Archdemon blood, go get it your fucking self. Why do you need Warden blood? In order to become what you are, you drink the blood of my kind. To transform. Drink the blood of Similarly, we must transform. I have created a version of your joining that uses the blood of Grey Wardens. You take the taint into yourself. What we take is your resistance. That is how my brethren are freed. In your blood lies the key to their immunity against the call of the old gods. Some are intelligent, some are insane. Once they are freed, the Darkspawn think for themselves. They speak, they act. Some, however, have reacted poorly. They are flawed and they rage against me. The Mother gathers them to stop me. As she seeks to stop you, I cannot defeat the Mother alone. And I cannot free the Darkspawn unless she is defeated. Our goals are the same. This reeks of stupid. Mm -hmm. The last thing we need is more Darkspawn thinking for themselves. Darkspawn or no, he has a good point. Do we really want to keep killing each other forever? This is what my sister saw. An ally amongst the Darkspawn. This is an opportunity we cannot pass up. No. Help me kill the mother. And after it is done, I will leave to continue my work. How did you become freed? I was born as I am. An outsider amongst my kind. Why? I do not know. Yeah, to Vinter Magic. Why do some of your Don't kind become me. Grey Wardens? Why do some possess magic? I have no answers. No, this ends here. No! The Architect is a visionary! Don't be foolish! But you we could have stopped warden. this cycle this of blights and old gods. How very unfortunate. But I cannot blame you. You are as bound to your nature as we are to ours. I am sorry, Uther. It appears that I will not be able to keep my promise after all. You will have to forgive me, Commander, 
for fighting to preserve my destiny. So she's running down the stairs. I'm gonna just quickly. Why are you not? Got it. Uh. What? Cataclysm. Get to the ladder. So you can get off my back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dodger, plus strength dex, and a chance to avoid missiles. Architect relies here. Dex. Got it. Robes of the Architect. Belt of the Architect. Are those better than what you're wearing right now? This is a direct upgrade from that, though. I have no idea what these crystals are for. Better than later. Oh, my God. 
around area. So we got more sockets down there. Those moves are so annoying. Spells. Missing a got it crystal. I don't know where we're supposed to go to get it. That's the final area. I'm gonna run through very quickly and try to find this crystal. It might be on one of these things. All right, all right. No idea what it's for. I don't remember this part of the DLC too much. It's not the architect's body, is it? No. Mary went out this way. how slow we move. It's the only reason I wish we had haste. We move so fast with it. Aha! Here it is. So I know 
Nathaniel was, it was really weird to me that Nathaniel was kind of all gung-ho. Oh, that's what it's for. So you get the architect who is able to summon a powerful inferno. Tower of trauma stuns awful creatures in an area. Tower of flame. And then tower of healing. So that's what we're doing. We're getting little bonus powers for the final fight. That's neat. I didn't even realize that. That's been there the whole time, and I just haven't been looking at it. Watch me forget it. Quest is completed. Defending the crystals and sockets of the ruins, you have reactivated three to enter relics and may aid you against the mother. Well, they're one time use. So we'll see how useful they actually are. One. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that. Final encounter. I hate you. You're gross. If it isn't the hero of the hour. <laughs> the slayer of the mighty father. Come to claim a reward. <laughs> oh, what a delicious day. What is this? That. By the ancestors, do all brood mothers smell this bad? Creators preserve us. I have never seen such foulness. Am I not beautiful? <laughs> no. No. Has the Grey Warden come now to slay the mother too? Will she join the father in oblivion? Uh, yeah. Then the silence ends here. Perhaps we will hear the song again when we die. Oh, let it come. Let it come. Mm. I don't think your face had to split open. Like that. Um. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Can we even do anything to your tentacles? Is that worth fighting? All right, all right. There's something wrong here. Nathaniel, why did you just up and die all of a sudden? Now it's better than later. Same with you. Oh. Oh, Sigrun. Direct me. Oh. Uh, Nathaniel, we can give you some arrows to use. And you also look like you need an energy kit. Spellcaster, I don't think. Nathaniel, why are you trying to get close? Stay over there. You can get off my back. All right, all right. There, I'm on board. Don't make it to the ladder. You can get off my back. Which 
means I need to use... What is... Uh, can you get a bear? That might help. And you're not a spirit healer, so you're not really going to be able to help me. My tops! I don't know what that cutscene looks like if you're not a mage. Or at least I don't remember. I know I've done warrior and rogue playthroughs as like other races too. Who are you? Was that Nathaniel? That looked very different than Nathaniel. That, I guess it is. Why do you look so weird? After the deaths of both the Architect and the Mother, nearly all the remaining Darkspawn fled back into the Deep Roads. The raids on Amaranthine came to an abrupt end. Although some of the Architect's disciples likely escaped into the Deep Roads with the rest of their brethren, they have, so far, shown no inclination towards vengeance against the Grey Wardens who killed their savior. Yet the Deep Roads remain plagued by the Darkspawn, and it seems certain that in time another blight will begin. The danger may have passed for now, but the cycle of the Old Gods continue. Where are the Grey Warden's heroic salvation of Amaranthine spread like wildfire? When the magnitude of the losses of the Vigil's Keep came to light, Sympathy drove generous donations from all over Ferelden into the region's coffers. Amaranthine was restored to her former glory within a year, Vigil's Keep in five. Because of the Warden's support for law and order in Amaranthine, Constable Aiden and his men were able to distri distribute the smugglers' goods to the battered survivors in the grueling days that followed the Darkspawn defeat. The Arling's peasants suffered greatly during the war, and suffered yet worse in the years that followed. Success of the first riot at Vigil's Keep emboldened them, thus other op uprisings followed, often put down with brutality. Although the war devastated many farms in the Arling, all agreed the loss would have been greater without soldiers for protection. The farm holders developed a certain reverence for the Warden Commander, as well as an ongoing reliance of the Grey Wardens for order and protection. Vigil's Keep stood alone against a horde of Darkspawn. The Mother's forced the Mother's forces outnumbered the Vigil's defenders many times over. But the sturdy Dwarven walls per proved impervious to any boulder an ogre could throw. The Vigil's soldiers, clad in silverite, each felled a dozen darkspawn before they died. The Vigil held one night, then two, then a week, and eventually the attacking horde broke upon her walls. The keep developed an almost mythic reputation, the few survivors immortalized in song and legend. Peace allowed the Wardens to replenish their numbers. Soon, Vigil's Keep bore a capable army with Wardens at its core. From their ranks emerged new heroes to challenge threats to Amaranthine and all of Ferelden. Through taxes and levies, the Vigil was rebuilt. Years later, Voldric Glavanac stood on the battlements and pronounced that the defenses were acceptable. He would never speak more highly of any human engineering. Dark whispers of conspiracy against the Wardens fell silent after a rash of incident accidents and disappearances culminated in the apparent suicide of Banez Morel. The nobles of Amaranthine remained dutiful. Some even suggest they were cowed into submission. Among the many legends that the Vigil spawned was one of the greatest heroes of the next age, a sheep herder turned soldier by the name of Sir Alec the Valiant, who eventually founded an order of knights that lasted a thousand years. The commander's blade, Vigilance, crafted from the bones of an ancient dragon, was boldly stolen by Antivan crows. The blade changed hands many times thereafter, and with some master swordsmen pursuing the weapon their entire lives. Some claim that this legendary blade has had a life of its own, and that its power is steadily growing. 
Dworkin Glavanak further refined his, li his lyrium sand explosives, but left the warden's employ after Canarian mercenaries tried to assassinate him. Although the dwarven bombardier took his secrets with him, the learned say he left clues for others to follow in his footsteps. The vigil soldiers, wearing the distinctive silver bright armor that Master Wade crafted, came to be known as the Silver Order. Under the tutelage of the wardens, the Silver Order developed into one of Ferelden's most revered military forces, a lasting memory of the vigil's famous commander. With Valana and the architect gone from the region, the pilgrim's path began to see traffic again. The massacre of the uh, the massacre of the militiamen and the merchants, however, led to hostilities between the neighboring human settlements and any Dalish clans that passed by. One human villager soon kidnapped and murdered a Dalish child. The clans reacted by giving the Wending Wood a wide berth, but both sides knew at some point the elves would return for revenge. A few years after Calharol was emptied of Darkspawn, Orzammar began sending expeditions to recover the knowledge of smithing that had been lost within the Taig. Eventually, House Helmy decided that Calharol was too important to be abandoned. At a tremendous cost of dwarven lives, they cleared the tunnels leading to Calharol of all darkspawn, making the road between Orzammar and the fortress safe again. Calharol was reclaimed for Orzammar once and for all. As promised, Voldric and Dworkin presented Orzammar's shape writ with a with a stone marker that told of how Calharol's cast list had taken arms against the darkspawn. The commander of the Grey was invited to Orzammar as a guest of honor at a feast commemorating the defenders of Calharol. The Shaper then read the names of the castless off the marker, then presided over a ceremony to return them to the stone as befitted warriors of their stature. In time, the Arling began to forget the tales of apparitions in the Black Marsh, and ever so slowly, settlers drifted into the region. Scholars said the veil was still thin, and thus the area was still dangerous, but the people only cared, about, uh, cared that there were no longer frightened whispers in the shadows. The village was slowly rebuilt. Twice the Baroness's mansion was rebuilt and occupied, once by a wealthy merchant and another by an Arlesian mage. Both died mysteriously. Afterwards, the mansion was torn down completely and the site left untouched. The survivors of the siege at Vigil's Keep hailed Anders and his magic for holding back hundreds of the assaulting Darkspawn. In the ensuing victory celebration, the men dragged the mage to the fire to engage him in a drinking contest, and of course, Anders lost. Anders remained with the Grey Wardens for a few, few years longer, training the Order's next generation of mages. But when, the cir but when the Circle Tower called on him to deliver a lecture on the nature of the Architect, much to the Templar's dismay, Anders told the Commander of the Grey that his time with the Wardens was over. And yet, not two months later, Anders returned to the Order. Ever after, the Wardens were his home and his lasting companions. Valana never saw her clan again, but neither did she forsake her Dalish culture nor her sharp tongue, nor her quick temper. Balana's interactions with other Grey Wardens changed her opinions of humankind significantly. Shortly after the Mother's defeat, the Darkspawn strugglers, stragglers, who still remained on the surface, attacked a human village. Balana was the only Warden nearby, which, and she defended the village single-handedly. She didn't even see her once. She scoured the Mother's lair for signs of her sister, but it was as though Sarani had vanished into thin air. Valana blamed the Warden Commander for choosing to kill the Architect, certain that the Architect would have released her sister if he lived. This remained a source of friction for as long as she, uh, the Warden and Valana knew each other. After spending a number of years with the Wardens, Nathaniel realized the life was not for him. He said goodbye to his sister, Delilah, and his new nephew, and then left to seek his fortune. In that time, in time, the nephew became a Grey Warden himself, in emulation of Nathaniel, and rose to Warden Commander. He brought honor to the Howe name once more. Justice fought valiantly at the Battle for Vigil's Keep, but before the victory... Uh, oh, this wasn't the one that I was hoping to get. Uh, Justice fought valiantly at the Battle for Vigil's Keep, but before the victory horn sounded, a darkspawn sword removed Kristoff's head. It was, of course... Yeah, removed Kristoff's head. It was, of course, unclear whether the spirit of Justice perished or simply departed. At the least, oh, uh, Aura, Kristoff's wife, was able to find peace. With the mother dead, Sigrun seemed to lose her purpose. She withdrew from her friends in the Order and spoke to them less and less each day. One morning, Sigrun was simply absent, her bed made and her trunk emptied. A young recruit who'd been up in the night said she left for her calling, gone to finish what she started in Hal Cal Harol. At Vigil's Keep, Ogren rallied a last-minute defense of the gate, taking on two ogres simultaneously to allow others time to regain the courtyard. He eventually passed out from blood loss, and when he awoke weeks later, nobody was more surprised than he to discover he had been credited as a hero. Ogren continued to regale young wardens with recruits with tales of his prowess in battle and bed. His drinking games prompted at least one recruit to declare she'd rather reattempt the joining than lift another mug. 
At the Warden Commander's urging, Ogren took a more active role in his child's life. He visited Felsi often and wrote letters, which the Warden Commander graciously proofread nearly every week. As for the savior of Ferelden, he did not remain as Commander of the Grey for long. The Darkspawn were no longer a real concern, the blight well and truly over. It was time for him to move on. Some claimed that the commander headed west into Orle, chasing after the dark chasing after the dark haired sorceress who had fought alongside him during the blight. Whether he found her or not, he certainly did not return to Vigil's Keep. And that's it. That is Dragon Age Origins Awakenings. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed it. Um, please let me know your thoughts. I know I've had a good time. Um, the next thing on our list to do will be to complete the Witch Hunt DLC, and then we'll be straight into Dragon Age 2. Uh, so treat yourself right, because you know you deserve it. Know that I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.